welcome the launch of the Shannon Tourism Master Plan. The first time a single, holistic and dedicated plan of any type has been undertaken on the Shannon region. Waterways Ireland, as the agency managing the Shannon navigation, has led the development of the plan in partnership with Falja Ireland and the 10 local authorities in the Shannon region. Covering an area of over 370 kilometres from Cavan to Limerick, the challenge of scale and scope of the geography has been overcome through a thematic and experiential framework, creating three spatial discovery zones in the north, mid and south Shannon, which are distinctive and economically and environmentally sustainable. The Shannon Tourism Massive Plan has the potential to attract many, many visitors to Longford and to use the fantastic amenities that the canal and the waterways have. But I'm hopeful and confident that the visitors will also, you know, find the time to, to visit and understand and appreciate the attract attractions we have throughout the county, particularly in the north of the county where we're very, kind of working very hard on developing our Rebel Trail in areas like Ballinamuck, um, Ballinalee and indeed right over to the, the, the development of the moat in Granard. Significant opportunities for the, the, the communities and indeed the county council to develop uh, major tourism products and brands around the, the mighty Shannon just here behind me. Welcome here to Carrigan Shannon, uh, on the River Shannon itself, the mighty river, that tranquil and calm river, which yet is accessible by all. Ireland's longest river with many amazing features, you know, where we invite you to come and enjoy the experience of the River Shannon, whether that's to, to cruise or to paddleboard or to canoe or to fish or to adjacent to it, to walk, to cycle or to hike. We invite you to come and experience this county and this amazing attraction that we have here, this huge destination. Uh, we want you to engage with the community and partake in what we consider slow adventure tourism, where you take the county at your own pace, you switch off the mobile phone and you enjoy the experience. So you, you experience it, you explore it and you enjoy it. Uh, we have some amazing development works here ongoing on the River Shannon at the moment in the likes of Drummond and Ruski and a hugely ambitious, ambitious plan here for the likes of Carrigan Shannon to Battle Bridge with a boardwalk for 10 kilometres right adjacent to this tranquil uh, gem. The, the Shannon Master Plan, it, it is the final and the biggest link to giving an operational effect to everything contained in Fall Child in the Hidden Heartland and also in the Development Plan, National Development Plan, because it is the mechanism by which the whole product along the Shannon will be developed. It's a tapestry that brings everything together and it gives all of our stakeholders, all of the service providers, all of the people that have invested their lives in the region, in their tourism project, and it gives them hope, it brings money, and it will develop out this product that we can all enjoy. I'd like to welcome the launch of the Shannon Master Plan. I think it's going to be a game changer for West Cabin. It's going to help and guide the promotion of tourism in this region and the development of the tourism product. Tourism is a major contributor to Cavan uh, economy. It's a major employer in the area. This will provide a roadmap to developing the tourism infrastructure here in the county and also Cavan County Council proposed investment in tourism and it'll help the private sector to invest as well. Uh, the International Shannon Urban Waterway links Limerick to Enniskillen and part of it flows through this lovely part of Cavan, including the towns of Ballyconnell and Bell Turbot. Uh, we are working with Waterways Ireland to develop greenways and blueways on that route. This is the area to, for a visitor to have a slow, real, authentic experience, to de-stress, to connect with the people they love, to remember what life is really about. Cavan County Council already have a number of uh, major tourism projects underway in the Ireland Ireland's Hidden Heartland region. And that includes the Shannon Pot Discovery Centre, the viewing platform here at the Cavan Borden Park, uh, major development for Killykeen Forest Park, uh, greenways and blueways on the Shannon Urn Waterway, Cavan Town Abbey lands and regeneration all around that area, and in Ireland's ancient east, uh, the development of Cavan County Museum into the National Storytelling Centre. So we hope that these projects will encourage uh, tourism to the county, attract international visitors and enable uh, the private sector and the tourism providers to further develop their facilities. The Shannon Master Plan will really help to integrate that whole idea of slow uh, tourism adventure 
uh, and bring it to the international market for sure. For the local regions, you know, the environment, the communities, people who have lived in this area for so many years, who've lived in the little small towns and villages, um, and it's like this plan, I think, is going to give them a lifeline to survive. If someone else down, down the way has another business like us, and they want to send people up, and we want to send people down, maybe we can co collaborate in that way as well, that we're not, uh, we're, we have our own businesses, but we're able to help each other out. Carrick are a great place to visit, but they're a much greater place to, to, to live, to work and enjoy. So I warmly welcome this plan. I would urge those with influence and authority to support it, to realise its objective, and as a result, Leitrim and the North Shannon would be a better place to live, work, visit and enjoy. I want to commend Waterways Ireland and all the partners for the vision and commitment to the master plan and its implementation over the coming decade.